welcome to my next video in the series. Um, in this one I just want to go through some changes that I've made to the system over the past few weeks. So, so it's been running over the past few weeks with no issues really at all. But what I have done, I don't know if you remember in the last video, I had these batteries here, these yellow batteries. Well, one of them I, I can't seem to bring back to life. I'm going to keep trying, I've got a few more ideas, but I can't seem to bring them back to life. One of them is now as new, as far as I can see, but the other one is pretty much dead. Um, some shorted cells in it. So anyway, so I, I did an upgrade to the battery bank. Um, you may remember I had, um, was it a bank of eight, I think? There were those two yellow ones, four of these ones, and those two, yeah. So this is what I've done now. I've removed the two yellow ones um, because you need them both to be working together in a, to make a 24 volt uh, bank. Which of course if one of them's wrecked I can't. So, so yeah, this is what I've done. So I've got this one, or these two, sorry. I've got these two, these two, these two, these two, and these two. So now um, I've got all the same ones. Well, apart from the last two, so I've expanded the bank. So now I've got twelve batteries, and this is better because ten of them are identical, or very, very, very similar. Anyway, there's a tiny little difference in some of them. These are seventy amp hour batteries. There's one or two. You see this one here. 72 amp hour, but the the same brand. Well, the same battery really. Just tiny differences. The wiring. I changed the wiring. I've got this industrial uh, connector block thing, which has got two two brass bar uh, blocks inside it, which should wire them all together. So I've got. You can see there. Got the positives at the back. All wired into a block and I've got all the negatives wired into a block at the front inside the unit. <coughs> these things here, I haven't quite finished these because I'm waiting for another two or a few more. But these have got 7.5 amp fuses in it in them. Um so yeah. I've got all the cables going down here and stopping off at the necessary terminal blocks. So, so the capacity I've got now, uh, 70 and a 70, well, both wired um, in series, so that gives me 70 amp hour still, but 24 volts. So 70 amp hour multiplied by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that's uh, 350 amp hour. And I've got these which are about 100. So 450 amp hour I've got now. So... I'm going to do some calculations and I'll probably post a video about that, exactly how all that works. But 450 amp hour, it's certainly a lot better than what it was. You can see the, it's a really crap day outside again. But you can see that it's still charging. I've only just wired these up. So we've got a good voltage already. come across uh, a small issue with this inverter. It's a very very good quality inverter but apparently it's too well protected. Um, if I run my PC and my sound system and my monitors and all that, sometimes it struggles to start but when it has started it's fine but I mean you can turn it on and it just won't turn on. It'll cut out completely. So if there's some sort of issue going on there, the seller, the person I bought this from, the company I bought it from say that it's well protected, but yeah, I'll need to look into that. But it does work. Um, everything else is still pretty much the same, really. So yeah, more capacity. That's what I've done. That's what this video is about. I've cleared this corner out here so I can fit more batteries in. Um, I've got various different things here. Um, my charger, this is a good quality charger that I bought not
not so long ago, at the start of the project, I've got um, magnesium, uh, I can't remember what it's called now, magnesium, magnesium sulfate, that's when I'm conditioning the batteries, um, it seems to help desulfate them quicker. I've got some uh, sodium bicarbonate, I think that's called, um, that's in case I have any spills of um, battery acid, this neutralises it. Um, I've got deionized water and some funnels and things. I've got a little bank of spare batteries and things. If I ever get two the same, I'll add them to the, to the battery bank. And, and that's it really. I'll try to make a new video soon and, um, and put some figures on it to explain my workings and things. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye!